Hi, I want to explain you my way of seeing the straddle high jump technique and methods and although it's considered to be very difficult and uh, complex, in reality the basics are very simple. The first and main thing for clearing the bar is the position of the legs, that's why it's called straddle, because straddle means separate, open your legs, but not in this way, but with bended knees and open uh, feet. So the intention of your, uh, your activity is to open your feet, not your legs, your feet, and bend your knees. And you can practice this in, in this way first. You uh, hold your hips with your hands and then uh, look for this position. Open your feet and bend your knees. And this is a position like a frog. And you can do this also in this position. Up and frog position. Frog. Okay? Then when you uh, have uh, the impression that you are able to do this from any other position, then you could do some more exercises doing frog position here. Frog. And then the frog with a little roll forward. If you are not able to do these simple things, you will never learn the straddle correctly because this is one of the main things to do. Okay. The next thing is that the straddle uh, technique is not a roll over the bar with your body distributed uh, all about the bar. It's a forward roll, a forward somersault in this frog position I told you. So what normally is taught and many uh, colleagues do is a roll along the bar like this. real straddle, the efficient way, the most efficient way of uh, clearing a bar is that every part of the body which is behind the bar goes down so your head and your arm and your trunk will dive uh, uh, after the bar immediately after clearing it. And so the pelvis and the legs come up and this is a forward somersault like this. much easier to clear the bar like this and I don't need so much height, let's say I gain 10 centimeters over the bar, that I don't need to clear the bar by this way of diving, of making a forward somersault in the position of a frog. Another thing that you hear about straddle is that you have to do the free leg movement with the uh, knee straight, but this is not necessary. This is an element that you can do or let away. So, if you are not able to do this with the leg straight, the knee straightened, you can do it also with the knee bended. The important thing is that you employ your free leg up, because if you leave the free leg here somewhere, you will never do a straddle. The straddle is to se separate your legs, and this means in the first time, the first way to separate them, uh, bringing the free leg as high as possible. I will show it once. And if you do so, the free leg is already in the frog position and then the other foot, and the other leg comes to the frog position too. So there's nothing else to do than take off with the uh, free leg high, as high as possible, bend it, and then the leg that is on the, on the floor uh, comes up to the frog position and complete the whole thing. So if you want to employ the free leg in a straightened way, which is really much if more efficient for the dynamic of the takeoff, then you have to prepare your body to be so free to bring your tense, your straightened leg up and without bending the standing knee. Because normally you do this to bring this uh, leg high, you bend here, but you have to make a jump, so you must be so free in your free leg hip to bring the 
the free, uh, the free leg up and straighten the takeoff foot. Come here, Dieter, for, no, come here, come here, and take my foot. And then you bring it up a little until I have to jump. No need, come up, come up, come up, more, 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 more. And this way, and more. And then it's the moment to have the takeoff. And if you are not able to do this, you will not be able to do a straddle jump with a tense leg. Okay? When you are so free in your free leg, in your hip, to do a jump, a takeoff with the free leg straighten up, then you have two possibilities. One is to leave that uh, leg as long as possible straight and bend it somewhere there, or just bend it uh, after takeoff. So there are two uh, possibilities. One is straight and keep it straight. The other way is to bend it after takeoff. One of the last steps of uh, um, takeoff dynamic is the movement of the arms. And the arms should not go, they should go parallel if you want to. It's not necessary, but it's better. But not forward, backward, but because then you make a movement. Uh, towards back and it makes you fall back instead of take off with somersault rotation. So the movement is more something like this totally against the rhythm of the uh, legs. It's something like this. That gives, gives you the maximum of uh, impulse that you can have in your arms and maximum and in the, in the direction where you want to do the somersault, the rotation above the bar. So the whole thing of take off and clearing the bar is very simple. It's a strong free leg to bring it up as high as possible, a rotation in the sense of somersault and a frog position over the bar. So now we have to consider what to do in the last step. The last step of jumping, is it uh, pole vault or long jumping or also high jumping, the last step has to be as short as possible. Why? Because if we do a long step, then the uh, center of gravity in my whole body mass is going down and falling down into the uh, leg. But we are preparing the takeoff, going low and trying to coming from low to up. And this is only possible when we do the last step short. We have to do everything to make this uh, step as short as possible. And this means that we don't lift much the knee. We don't lift the foot and then bring it down. No, we go straight to the approach, uh, to the contact with the ground as soon as possible. And preparing this is in the second last step to bring the center of gravity and the body mass down by bending this knee. And this is done by a long step. So we have a long step as a second last and a short step at last. And come with the camera, come with me. The second last step is long and down and the last step is short and up. So we come from down to up in the takeoff, okay? Okay, so I will try to show you a long deep step at a second last step and then a short step at last, okay? I will try my best. It was too high, so sorry. I jumped higher than I wanted to, because it's so easy when you do it right, then you jump higher than you even can imagine. So now I want to tell something about the approach, the run up, as I would say. And I consider it's very uh, useful to put a mark on the ground for every two steps 
that means that always when my left foot, my uh, takeoff foot touches the ground, there's a mark to approach it and to control my distance to the bar. I can't manage the distance to the bar from six or seven or eight uh, steps away from it. So this helps me a lot to get my rhythm, my tempo, my velocity and the distance to the bar. And the distance to the bar will be as longer as higher the bar is. So when I get up in the competition, I always go as much back as much the height is increasing. So three centimeters higher, three centimeters back with the uh, uh, marks and the distance to the bar. Then we ha I put here two marks and I, I consider also that you don't need more than six or at maximum eight steps for jumping 230 or 235. So why should uh, young people who jump 150 or 160 have a run up of 12 uh, steps? So I here, here I have prepared four steps and a little uh, run up before. So I, from here, come with me to the camera, do you? Okay. From here, I do some steps and then come uh, uh, um, starting rolling and then uh, preparing the takeoff. Touching the marks, okay? Left, left. Okay. As I said, the uh, rotation in the air is something like a somersault uh, forward. There is a little deviation to the side because my uh, standing leg must give his impulse outside to make me rotate around the bar. So if I am straight here, I could never do uh, the inclination that I need to make this uh, somersault uh, in the frog position. I need some inclination to, to the left side. And this is something like in, uh, inclining to the, uh, towards the bar, but then jump forward and rotate forward in this position. <laughs> in order to find the right position for the takeoff, which is a little uh, bending in, in the left hip, uh, I run a little curve in the last three steps. So I come running towards the camera, towards you directly, and then I make a little curve to the left to incline me towards the bar. Somersault forward with the inclination towards the bar. <coughs> we go ahead. Here is very important that the left arm, the inner arm, the arm close to the bar, should not be bent back or doing nothing or doing a few things. The left arm, the inner arm is very, very important to make you do the somersault forward. This arm is uh, fighting against the spontaneous tendency of your movements to turn towards the bar. Do never this and you can fight it to do the wrong thing, doing the right thing with your inner arm. This arm prevents me to turn too early towards the bar. Look at my left arm this time. This is one of the secrets of good jumping, that your left arm, your inner arm, is helping you to go straight and forward with your jump and forward with your rotation, and uh, so using well all the impulse you get from your approach. This is very important. And the next thing which is connected with the left arm is the conduction of the right hip, the hip of the free leg. Because if you throw the leg away and the hip goes with the leg, and then you turn with your uh, uh, belly towards the bar. You don't want this. You want to make the somersault forward, so you never should turn like this in the approach and uh, in the takeoff. So when you throw the free leg up, then hold your uh, right hip back, that the uh, leg does not fly away. But in the moment that the uh, leg is accelerated towards up and forward, then the hip holds it, and so all the impulse of the leg is transmitted to the rest of the body. 
and then you get one unit between the body and the free leg. The free leg is not free to fly away. Don't let it free. Throw it up and then hold it back. Okay? As you see, my running up is outside of the uh, standard here. I keep outside and then do a curve to the center.